Welcome to the album. My name is Ria Abdul. Now today I bring you a great personality. We're going to be talking to him, find out all the scoop, all the entertainment and everything he's working on currently. Now my guest is known for controversies. Like when you mention controversy, you definitely have to mention his name. Now I don't want to let it cut out of the back. We'll take a quick commercial break. And when we come back, you get to see who I am talking about. Don't go anywhere. This is the album with Ria. <laughs> You're welcome back. Now I'm talking about the one and only Ubi Franklin. Yes, it's my guest. You know him as a politician. You know him as a manager. You know him as a philanthropist. You can go on and on and on. And we just love him. We love him and we love the controversies as well. Welcome to the show. How are you doing? Thank you. Thanks for having me. It feels good to have you on the album. Oh. Uh-huh. The album. You're blushing? <laughs> <laughs> you know the album is about you telling me everything about you. We're going to open your album today. Oh, well. <laughs> That's if I give you the password. Oh, you will? I think I already have the password. No, you don't know. Oh. Two, three, four, five, nine. No. <laughs> but anyway, we're in your beautiful restaurant. We'll talk about that because I didn't know you know you were into catering and all that. But let's talk about you first. From working with Julius Agu to AY and, you know, to who you are today. Just take me, what has been that thing that has been peculiar about your journey? Um, consistency. Okay. Um, you know, back in the day, uh, we started when there was no social media. Mm -hmm. and if, if there was, I think it was just Facebook at the time. Yeah. Um, we're not, we're not so sold on what social media was about. Yeah. So our focus was basically um, doing the work. Mm -hmm. You know, then you have to go and do the work. Yeah. But now with social media, you can sit at home, do part of the work, and then go outside and do the ones that you 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 might not need to do on your phone and all of that. So. Uh, we, we did. We can. We, we, I call myself the manual generation. Okay. Yeah. So we, we we actually did everything from our, you know, we have to go there. We have to be there. For and and how was and how was that like? Because I know that social media has made things easy. So I'm imagining you, you know, doing all of that without social media. So, uh, looking at looking at how things are now, yeah. it kind of makes you feel like, oh my, God, hold, hold on one minute. So, it feels like people's lives were fast tracked yeah. to get to where we are. Do you understand? Yeah. So I know that a lot of people won't be where they are today if um, a lot of people won't be where they are today mm -hmm. if social media had not come into true place. That, oh, true that. Uh, I know before the interview we we're talking about Iniedo. Yeah. So if you look at the, the time um, when they came into the, the industry mm -hmm. and the younger ones down, the younger yeah. ones down, and the, the lucky thing for them was they caught up with social media faster. faster. And then the fan base they had built for many years mm -hmm. had to regroup and come into that social media to support yeah. what they were doing. Mm -hmm. If not, there are a lot of them that could not catch up with social media on time mm -hmm. and they're still behind. behind. So social media has helped a lot of people, um, you know, so they caught up with what we're doing yeah. very fast. Yeah. yeah. But we'll, so we'll still dive into social media because I know it has done a lot of good, but it has indeed done a lot of harm as well, which we will talk about. Depends on how you we'll say We'll talk about later yeah. on on the show. But you as a person, Ubi, you know, there has been a lot of controversies mm -hmm. about you, you know, I feel like you're one person that people troll a lot. I don't know if I'm correct. You do? I feel like you're one person that when Ubi says something, people troll you a lot. Do, I, don't, I don't see it. You don't see it that mm. way. Well, I see but I don't it. see the trolling. You, you don't see the trolling. Yeah. Well, I see the trolling. So you see the trolling because you're you're on the you're not the, at the receiving end. Mm -hmm. So I don't see that as trolling. Okay. Yeah. So. So you feel you're not trolled on social media? I don't, I don't see it. You don't see it that way. Yeah. I don't see it. So, you know, when you want to when you want to build your life, mm -hmm. right? You need to understand that there are things you see, and there are things you don't see. At some point in Nigeria, you know, you're one of the biggest, yes. um, you know, talent managers. You manage in Yaya and a couple of people. What do you, do you think you made a couple of mistakes at that? No, point? I didn't make no mistake. Mm -hmm. um, it's also um, you need to understand that it's the same thing I was saying yeah. when we started. Social media was not what it is today. Mm -hmm. So you know, these days you can sit at home and just record a song. And while you're recording that song, you just put yeah. it on social media. Boom, everywhere it's burning. Yeah. So you can imagine um, how fast songs like Finesse Blue, yeah. right? It made it immediately. Um, uh, Buju did a, mm -hmm. a, a, a short clip on it. It mm -hmm. became really big. Mm -hmm. So in our days, when you record a song, yeah. you go through the mixing and mastering. Once you're done, you pick a, a, a bike from the island mm -hmm. to Alaba. Look for people who distribute the songs for you on mm -hmm. um, CDs, mm -hmm. right? So our time was different. So now, when when there was a crossover, 
contracts are already expiring. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And then when you look back and you didn't see that there was fire burning. Yeah. Fire burning, I mean, there were younger people coming mm -hmm. up. They were with, a lot of, with, with a lot of talent and yeah. they were using social media very well. Yeah. So that was, that bridge, mm -hmm. right? It was, I wouldn't say it's a mistake. You know, I never, yeah. I've never made a mistake in business, yeah. right? I just believe that businesses go how well, you've made they go. mistakes in life but not yeah, business no i've not made mistakes ever yes i don't think i've made mistakes ever okay. so always i always believe that if you believe you made mistakes that yeah. means you have actually made mistakes mm -hmm. then that means life has ended yeah so for me i always i always look at it this way um our music industry mm -hmm. evolved yeah and it did unfortunately some people did not evolve with the music mm -hmm. industry and when, before they looked back, they found out that people that were miles behind them are already in front of them. So now yeah. you try to see how you can catch up. So you're mm -hmm. trying to, you know, do things that they are doing. Yeah. But pe people are different. So people, re so and the way music is right now, mm -hmm. people are receiving things differently. Yeah. So it wasn't, a, it wasn't any mistake. I still have some of the biggest yeah. guys right now. So of course. Yeah. But do you think you want to regain your spots back? I'm not trying to regain a spot. Mm -hmm. I'm there. No, not a lot of people, no matter what you hear right now, not a lot of people have done the job I have done. Okay. You know, so that's what I was saying that, you see, our the things I did before social media yeah. became very, very mm -hmm. huge. I'm, pe I'm sure there, there's, there's someone that saw me at the airport a yeah. um, few months ago, and then she was with her friends and her brother. You know, came to me and said, she said, um, I'm so sorry. I said, why? She said, She's always thought that I was one useless guy that doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. But she had to go back yeah. because she's like 21. So wow. she had to go back and read about me yeah. and the things that I have done. And she mm -hmm. said, listen, you are, you've actually done a lot, a lot, right? Not a lot of people have, have been able to break two artists, two, two of the biggest artists it's in our techno country. Techno at that yeah, time. Yeah. And not everybody has been able to break some of the biggest producers in our country. Yeah. You understand? So. Uh, Everything that has been done today, we've done it years ago. Like I'm totally enjoying my conversation with Ubi. Like you can see that this is a man that knows his onions. He knows music. But apart from music and you know real estate and everything you do, let's go into your personal life because that's where we see a lot of the controversies. Mm -hmm. Growing up, let me start it like this. Did you ever envision that you were going to have four children with four different What's wrong women? with that? I'm asking. What's wrong with that? I can't tell what's wrong with that. Exactly. I'm just asking. So it because it's the norm so that we know. Not, if what? you cannot tell, that means there's nothing wrong okay, with Okay, I think it. I can tell. Okay, please. Tell me what's wrong with it. Because I feel like one man for one woman. Mm -hmm. And I also feel like, you know, having children. So do we live in the, also the same environment in the same country where there are men that marry five, six, seven? No, but the question is, are you happy having four children with I'm different very people? happy. Is it something you so thought? So what, what if I was un unable to, to have a child? Have you ever thought about that? But does it distort you in it any doesn't. way? No baby mama drama? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't Obi, no me. baby mama drama? It doesn't distort Obi, me. Obi, we're on social media, no baby mama drama? I don't see it. <laughs> it seems Ubi closes his eyes on <laughs> to once he doesn't want to see it's, on social so it media. Depends on, it, it depends on how but you... people troll you a lot because of that. Okay, let me let me give you, let me give you, uh, for example. Mm -hmm. um, for someone like me, my marriage crashed in 2015. Yeah. From 2015 to 2022, mm -hmm. most of the people that laughed at me yeah. said their marriages have all crashed. All, I'm, I'm, all, aware, all. I'm aware of that. 150%, all yeah. of them. So, Obi, so, this will take me to my next question. Is it difficult for personalities like you to remain in marriages? It's not It's not difficult. It's just, it's just so, you see, today, social media makes it difficult for people to actually yeah. live off perception. Okay. So, I'll give you an example. The littlest things that causes problems yeah. in marriages. Are, let me tell you. You dressed up, your husband maybe is going through something yeah. in, and he didn't tell you, oh, baby, you look nice. Mm -hmm. Then you post a picture on social media, your yeah. fans are giving you 2,000 comments. comments. You have 100,000 likes. Yeah. Now, you now say, can you imagine? And I dressed up in front of this man and I was going out. And, and he, he didn't say, say anything to so me. <laughs> now, we tried, we're now, we're now measuring what is going on on social media. Mm -hmm. People you don't know, you don't see them. Yeah. You don't know whether they even have good intentions, mm -hmm. right? We're measuring it. Now, don't forget that most of the likes you get comes from Explore. These people yeah. don't follow you, but they just see a beautiful yeah. picture and they like. Social media has actually come to let you know that yeah. there's so much of fakeness. Fake, fakeness. Right? 
that's go that goes on behind closed doors. Yeah. You know, I was watching, um, I was reading a blog the other day, and one lady, um, every time she buys herself a car, jewelry, and all of that, she yeah. says her husband that bought for her. Well, she's the one that. Bought right. Why well, she's the one that bought it now? Happens. They have issues with how yeah. they have issues now, mm -hmm. and she's come out to say she actually she's bought the all these things. Now, for people who live off social the media, gullible and people yeah, that yeah, believe, and, yeah, and, and social media validation, mm -hmm. they've either lost relationships, mm -hmm. they've either lost good people because they feel that felt like those good people were not yeah. doing the things for them. Well, so you don't bad? fake it on social media. What do I need to fake you? If you know they, you know they. There's nothing what, you can do. Day? You know they. <laughs> Ubi day. You know they. <laughs> they hustle. You understand? If you know they, yeah. you know they. So you need to understand that. Like for mm -hmm. me, I rather. I rather fight it up. Mm -hmm. A lot of young boys are out there that do fraud, do a lot yeah. of stuff. But like my mom always says to me, she says, for the mere reason, mm -hmm. for the mere fact that you have gotten to this point, you yeah. only go higher. So don't do anything for them to make money. Yeah. So And there's a question that I was asked to ask you. Me, normally I don't want to ask this question, yeah, but they say ahead. I should ask you. I, I don't know if I should ask you. Go ahead, go ahead. You know, word on the streets from some people mm -hmm. is that, you know, Ubi is a womanizer. Um, but I'm depends. sitting now with Ubi here right now, and I don't think he but is. It, but it depends on it depends on how you say it, right? It depends on how how they say it. Okay. So, and it, it takes me back to the, my mm -hmm. my previous answer. Mm -hmm. People who say things mm -hmm. are people who are in the thing. Okay. Thank right? God I didn't say it. Do you understand? People who say things are people yeah. who are in the things. So. Conversations happen. You sit down around friends and you find out that. So, have you ever sat down and said, hold, hold on one minute. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even where this, what people do. I'm not even near there. Yeah. Have you ever, have you, has it ever happened to you? It has. So, so, it happens to me a lot where I sit down yeah. and I see my guys like in a day, they, they, are, they are rolling like three, four, five. And I'm like, hold on. I go six months yeah. and nothing. Ha, no, Ubi, I don't believe I'm not joking. Six months? Yes. I'm not nothing. So let me let me let me let me let me let me give you let me let me give let me give you a very 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 real story. Yeah. So I was dating this girl. Mm -hmm. Name? And no. She's, In the media? She's Ghanaian. Oh, and I'm Ghanaian too. Okay, just give me initials. No, don't worry. I know the girl. I'll tell you later. Continue. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I was dating this girl. She's Ghanaian. Yeah. And so her perception mm -hmm. was that oh, this guy is always you know. um I go one week, we're in the house and I do nothing. Hmm. Guys, are you hearing? So, it's, <laughs> so the thing is, it's not like, it's, it's not the fact that people believe that, oh, oh he has kids from different yeah, women. Yeah, different women. Mean, don't forget that a yeah. woman doesn't, a, women are very, women are, are the, women are the biggest evil, devils in the world. <clears throat> right? When it comes to some things. Like? If a woman means you, she means you. Yeah. Right? That's what I mean. We've seen it. We've yeah. seen when Tonto DK meant her ex and we've seen what is happening. Well, we've seen it. So, but the thing is this. You also need to understand that mm. if a woman decides mm -hmm. not to keep a baby for you, she'll never keep it. Welcome back. You're still watching the album with your favorite, Ria. Now we're going to talk about politics. Why did you get into politics? Is it because of the notion that everybody said people they find money? I read for Nigeria. No, I come from a political family. Okay. My dad was a former local government chairman mm -hmm. of my local government, and he did well. Mm -hmm. um, in seven months, he, he gave the entire um, over nine, over thirteen or fourteen villages. He gave them light, mm -hmm. created roads, um, uh, drainages. Mm -hmm built hospitals yeah. within uh, uh so in that was seven months and one week mm -hmm. when he was uh, he was in government mm -hmm. um so i've always loved politics i've always loved to sit down sit around where people discuss politics yeah. so in 2011 my older brother contested again yeah. uh, unfortunately he didn't get it mm -hmm. but uh so yeah after that since that time i've always gone for politics so okay. this time i decided to try it mm -hmm. myself uh, so in 2019, I was appointed a special advisor on tourism. Yeah. Uh, so this time I decided to try elective office. Yeah. And I, I want to know before that, why did you resign from that position? Did you think it was a wise idea? Yeah, it was a very great idea. But you it, lost. I didn't lose. Okay. I decided to walk out because... Okay. So on the day of election, on the day of the election, mm -hmm. um, I got to the venue of the election, mm -hmm. of, the, of the primaries, mm -hmm. and I could see police 
you know, shielding touts with guns. And I only walked in there with just my PA yeah, and because yeah. I believe the election should be, should be fair. You know, should be yeah. fair, you know. Um, with that, I had to run away. Because for me, I will not, co after saying what is wrong about yeah. our political system mm -hmm. and the talk that happens in politics, mm -hmm. come back mm -hmm. and now say, uh, and now people hear that I carried boys with guns to grant yeah. people. So I walked away. Mm -hmm. For security reasons, mm -hmm. I had to leave because mm -hmm. if I was there, they still shot some of my my uh, my, yeah. my cousins that were there. But uh, nothing happened to them. Yeah, they just we had to take rush them to the hospital. They, yeah. they, they, they took out the bullets. Mm -hmm. So when I go back to Calabar, um, I had to go in front of the electoral panel, yeah. and I and I told them that I appeal panel. I told them that listen, I want this election. They should they should recount the votes, and they recounted mm -hmm. the votes, and I had eighteen votes to to seventeen and five. So I won the yeah. election. And I have proof. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I have proof of that. So I I didn't I didn't want to so at some point I found I, I didn't want to stress it because you see, yeah. I found out that the violence and the conspiracy mm -hmm. that has happened, those are my 18 votes. Wow. Yeah. So I found out that the violence and the conspiracy that had happened yeah. was going to continue into the election. Okay. So I sat down with my principal mm -hmm. and we had a conversation and he told me, he said, listen. The level of conspiracy that was against you and you still won yeah. that means you are a strong candidate and you can win the main election mm -hmm. but he said if the, the since this election was just one place yeah. the main election is going to be 99 polling unit polling units yeah. where you are not going to be physically. physically you'll just be in your own polling unit to mm -hmm. vote they might work against you so he said um, wow. i want you to make a decision on what you want either take an appointment and leave yeah. or just go for the election mm -hmm. The day I was going to make this decision, uh, that was on Saturday, no, Sunday morning. Yeah. I was drained, I was unhappy because I felt like people who have trusted me, yeah. you know. So I left it. So yeah. I just told them I'll take the appointment and walk. And I think that for me right now, that's the best decision. Are you telling I us the appointment? No, no, not yet. Not I'm, yet. Not, I'm not going to say yet. Yeah, but it still has to do with politics. Yeah, 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 it still has to do. Okay. And it's even bigger. It's bigger oh, than wow. what I was contesting for. Wow. Do you ever see yourself getting married again? Find me a wife, please. Oh. Okay, I Find can I wife. can I get one from Ghana? Um, I can. Yeah, maybe let me try something else out, out of Nigeria. Let's try Banku and Tilapia. No, no, I don't like that. I don't like that. Watch it. Yeah, maybe watch it. Okay, so Operation Find will be a wife. But if you get a woman, you would like to settle down, right? Oh, definitely. 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 Okay. You know. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not that bad. It's not as if sleeping alone every night. It's only you oh, cold, okay. it's cold. Thank you for confirming you, that. You cover I'm yourself. <laughs> alone, uh, but anyway, <laughs> no worry. Now there'll be a woman to fight with, not to worry. It's been amazing talking to you. You Thank know, you. I feel like you're a great person. You're a noble man. I wish you all the best. Thank you. When your new, when, when your new appointment comes out, we get to find out. We'll be the first to congratulate you. Thank you. Upfront and personal. You know, we support you 101%. You. But let's do our games before we wrap up. Go you on. like music, right? You're going to sing? <laughs> so I'm going to call a line in a song and then you will sing the song. Okay. Don't fall my hand like Nigerians will say. Go ahead. Please. The first one, stand strong. There's a stand strong. Obi, you no go minor. Hey. Obi, you're nine months. Nine plus, right? <laughs> You try, you shout out to Davido. Because Ubi is standing strong. <laughs> the next one, Buga. Ah. <laughs> uh, what's, the, what's the line from that song? Uh, I'm not telling you. You have to do the dance. So far, so good. Cool, Yeah, let's go. Yeah, look, look. Yeah, Buga now. <laughs> oh, the one is. And the last one, let me give you a very hard one. I want to look for one of Michael Jackson's songs. <laughs> no, the last one, let me give you um, Do Me. Oh, you get that? See, they do me, do me. No, do high me. five. You know your music. You know your music. Thank you so much, Ubi. Thank it's been you. great talking Thank you to you. But me. before we let you go, do you have anything to say to people that love Ubi Franklin? Keep watching Rhea Abdul. Yeah. Um, subscribe to our YouTube. All right, watch her and listen to other people and leave me alone. <laughs> Thank you so much, Lily.